normally every year after the budget, I review the cabinet lineup of the appointment holders and make adjustments. Uh, usually um, minor adjustments here and there, but at least one major reshuffle somewhere in the course of the government's term. As I explained at the beginning in my remarks, this reshuffle comes earlier in the government's term than normal. And there are two reasons for that. One is because I'm moving the Minister for Finance. And once you move the Minister for Finance, you're moving a major uh, piece on the chessboard and you have to make many consequential redeployments. And secondly, because I had wanted to adjust the appointments in MTI, MOH and MOM after the elections, but held off until now. So the appointments which I made immediately after the elections, in a sense, were an interim set of changes, and now I'm making the full set of changes. And some of the interim changes led up to here, and therefore the ministers who were appointed remain, for example, MND. But unfortunately, some of the other interim changes uh, had to make adjustments to the situation then and have to be refitted to the new longer-term configuration now. And therefore, I have had to move two ministers who have only been in their appointments quite a short time, um, which is uh, Lawrence in MOE and Ong Yi Kang in MOT, but unfortunately it can't be helped. I think it's a bit uh, disruptive for the ministries. Uh, they, have made, they have made contributions, they, have, they are getting into their stride, and now I have to disrupt them. But I hope that after this adjustment, the new ministers in those two posts will be able to settle down for some time.